Hello, it's Anna with the In Flight Life. How's everybody doing? Yeah, I'm still on my leave. I'm not going back to flying until October. Um, I hear that other airlines, flight attendants are actually going back, coming back from furlough. However, they got their furlough notices again. So, but of course that is always a requirement um, with the unions that you need to give a warn notice. You need to give a certain amount of days to give those. Anywho, so, what about that snowstorm, huh? Man, it shut down a lot of things. A lot of things got canceled. I heard a lot of airports were closing. I knew that a lot of areas didn't have um, electricity, didn't have water. Um, it was just a mess. So I'm fortunate that I didn't have to fly in that. So I'm very glad I missed out on that. I do miss flying. I really, really do. I can't wait to go back in October. So last time I talked to you, I said that I actually applied for a regional airline because I want to keep up on what is happening for application for everybody. I wanna make sure that I'm still on top of the information that I give to you um, to make sure that it's relevant and it still works. And it does. Because today, I well not today, a couple days ago, I got an email saying that I was moving on to the next step where I was gonna have the video interview. And then today, they actually extended it because I think it's due tomorrow today or tomorrow, but they extended it. So I'm not sure what's happening. I don't know if it's because of the snowstorm. They figured that, you know, some people didn't have electricity and couldn't do the, the video interview. So let me go back through um, what I did. One thing I'm, I'm really, really recommending that you do is that you are very careful and deliberate when you take those personality tests. So you might think you're going to go fast and just get through it, but those tests really try to figure out your personality, how you work with people, and even to the point where this particular test had these um, like mind bending games, like they had patterns that were like, um, here's a pattern, here's a pattern, here's a pattern, what comes next? And at first it started off easy, but then it started getting harder, which is usually what happens, but they kind of want to see what's your process of thinking. So let me give you some hints about the personality tests you are going to get questions that duplicate within the within the test. They're not trying to trick you or they're not repeating it because they want to hear some uh, off the wall answer. They're actually repeating it to you because they want to know if you're telling the truth. So always tell the truth in these tests. Now, that means if you say, um, let's see, let's, for example, let's say, you know, I, I'll, I'm always on time. And then there's usually a, a, a range, like a one to five or, a, um, almost never to always that type of thing. So you always want to pick the outermost extreme answer, if that makes sense. So what you want to do is you want to actually pick the, um, so for example, timing is very important for an airline. So if it says, I always show up to appointments on time, you want to pick always, always, always. All right. So that would be the example. Later on, it might have the same question, just worded a little bit differently. Like, um, I think it's okay if I don't show up on time. And they want to know, obviously, you're not going to say yes, always. I think it's okay. You'll want to say, no, it's absolutely not okay. So does that make sense? So they're, they're basically trying to figure out, did they tell me the truth on this one? So I'm going to ask them a different way and it might be in the opposite direction. Okay. The other thing I have recommended is you want to make sure that you are very, like I said, choose the extreme, either all or none. Now on the test that I took, there were certain questions I was like, okay, you know, I can't really say all or none because honestly, I don't have an answer for either because it was just some oddball questions. So I would actually put like a, a four leaning towards one side or a two leaning towards the other side. Um, but I didn't do very many of those. They want to know that you are decisive because as a flight attendant, you have to be decisive in every situation. So they want to make sure they're not going to have people that are wishy-washy. So do not please do not do all the answers as threes, like neutral. Don't, don't do that. You want to pick all or none, but be truthful about it. Okay. So, and then when it comes to now my airline, I don't remember, I don't remember, but, um, this particular airline I applied for, it had like the shapes and stuff. Now, if you, I have to say, this is kind of, it's hard to want to do because there are some people that just are naturally, uh, can pick out shapes. For example, I am one of those people that 
Um, I'm really good at spatial relations. Like I can look at something and the space, so it makes it really good for a flight attendant when you're looking at bags, trying to put them in the thing, you know, put them in the bin. I can look at the space and know if something is going to fit or how to adjust them or to make it all fit. Again, it comes in really handy, which then makes me also really good at when I see shapes like, or, um, not shapes, what are they? They're like geometric something or other to say this and this and this and then what comes next. So it's it, it's really kind of easier for me and it might not be for you and that is okay. Just take your time. If there's There are some that are timed um, and if they are, that's fine because what happens is, like I said, they start off easy and they get harder as it goes along. I think they just wanna see how far you go. So, I mean, I don't honestly don't know. I probably should research it to see what um, those really mean, but it's it's really fascinating. So, um, but like I said, so get your resume in, make sure you have keywords. I know I didn't mention that earlier, but that's, I teach that in my class, in my workshop that I offer. Um, and then when you get the um, personality test, make sure you're honest, you are on one of the extreme or the other, and you just take your time on it. Okay, pretty simple. So anyway, I'm gonna get back to work because as you, a lot of you know, I'm a real estate agent, so um, I'm basically helping people. I actually have learned that I like to help people find other real estate agents because honestly, it's just hard work. Um, so anyway, but I'm gonna go ahead and get back to work. I will talk to you again. Please remember, go ahead and subscribe below if you wanna, I, I will try to get more tips out as we start getting closer. It's just really hard when, you know, I'm not actually in the job anymore. I mean, I hear a lot about it, but um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna you know see what I can do there. All right. Well, I will talk to you later. Have a great week.